um, this video, um, this is um, part three to my series about um, education, wisdom, knowledge. Oh, excuse me, and overstanding is not celebrated in this bullshit ass country, America, cut, 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 the United States. You know what I'm saying? But this video is for uh, niggas and broads in the hood, all the hood niggas in the hood chicks. And I want y'all really to listen, please, and feel me on this. Because I'm making this video more so out of love than hate. You know, I'm not trying to talk like I know everything because I don't. I know not all people from the hood, ghetto projects or whatever, I get, I, I dumb. Because, you know, like I say, I'm the ghetto nerd, the ghetto intellectual. I grew up in the projects, you know, these tears, you know what I'm saying, on the east side of San Antonio, Texas. But, um, to get to my point, you know, I'm going to talk about history. But don't get me wrong, I'm not going to stay stuck in ancient Africa, Kemet, Nubia, uh, Timbuktu, but I am going to talk about it a little bit, but I'm not going to stay stuck there. You know what I'm saying? Real talk, because I know we're living in um, different times now. I mean, you know, I, I, you know, our people are on the rise now because it's a rap for these crackers. It's a rap for uh, America, cut, 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 and uh, we're on the rise. Obama spiritually is a symbol of that. I'm not fixing to get all in the metaphysics, but I'm just saying we on the rise. Michelle Obama, a black woman, is in the White House of two kids. We on the rise. You know, we we won. Trust me. If y'all don't see it now, y'all gonna see more of it in the future. So for now, just grab some popcorn and enjoy the show and shit. You know. But anyway, you know, this video, you know, is gonna be called, you know. Basically, education is not white, you know. So all my niggas and broads and the, my hood niggas and hood chicks, I don't want to disrespect nobody. But these are those who don't know, who don't have knowledge of self, who are looking for answers or whatever. You know, the tables have been turned on us. You know. The tables, you know, have been turned, and um, and I was gonna say was um, you know, the cracker that made y'all think that, you know, that they're so superior, you're so inferior, that they're so smart, you're so dumb, and that, you know, that um wanting to talk right and learn something is imitating them well really if you pay attention a lot of times they're imitating you you know all they did was just trade places with us because the original ghettos were not where we lived at it's what, it was where their people lived at where the kikes lived at you know the Irish, the Italians, the Polish because y'all gotta realize at one point, all them groups I just named, just named the, the subclass of white people, was not considered white people, you know. And they, they're the original ones who lived in the hoods, as what we would call today. It's supposed to be the ghettos, you know what I'm saying? I mean, later on, it got, you know, ghetto and urban, all that got intertwined, you know, like, that's supposed to represent us, you know, a cold word for black people or niggas, whatever, you know. You know, um, over time that changed, especially you get towards the 60s, 70s, whatever, and, um, and, uh, also, you know, And um, the white, like, piece of, uh, prof brother Professor Larry have said this, and it's true. The white man is historically ignorant. It's not going to be a blame the white man video. But the point I'm trying to make is, like, they were the original gangsters before we took to that shit hard. Uh, we took to a lot of that shit out of survival. I'm not excusing the behavior, making excuses for, uh, 
lack of personal responsibility no but you know so I can understand how a lot of y'all hood brothers and hood chicks have been miseducated you know or why your parents were miseducated why they didn't properly educate you why they relied on the school system to do their job you know they relied on the school system a hundred percent to do y'all I mean to do their job you know of educating you you know and the tables have been turned let me tell y'all hood niggas and hood chicks something it, uh, you know not to stay stuck in history because I know that may not be the case now but they could be headed back to that one point when the cracker was in Europe well you know before the white man rose up and left Europe Europe was at one time wasn't shit you know especially you talking about the dark ages but even before that they lot you know I'm sure y'all heard maybe heard they lived in caves you know um, you know even when they wasn't in caves uh, there's a book I'll call uh, Dirt by Terrence somebody I can the author's name escaped me but do y'all research it's a book called Dirt you know, in fact the brother the brother God 720 read the book some of the book on YouTube explaining how dirty and filthy they was in Europe especially in what they call Britain today you know Rome and Greece learned what they learned from Kemet, which is now today Egypt, which is in where? Africa. You know, which was once before it got occupied by dirty ass power wearing sand nigga ass Arabs. It was occupied by us, black people, our ancestors, you know. And we dealt with sciences. We dealt with uh writing, spelling, we dealt with uh mathematics. We dealt with all that shit. Researched the the Ishago bone, you know, which was found in the interior of Africa. I think somebody correct me if I'm wrong. I think was it found near Tanzania, somewhere down in Africa. It wasn't found in northern Africa. It was found in more like central, like southern Africa, if I'm not mistaken. But the Ish Ishago bone, Ishango bone, you know, so I think it's spelled I S. H A N G O and then bone, then Shago bone. And this is in ancient, ancient Africa. Our ancestors always dealt with mathematics, you know. And you want to talk about language shit. We dealt we dealt with language. It come from us. Like and like I think in Nubia, they don't found some in some temples some hieroglyphic or hieroglyphics or words or whatever some sh plenty of them that can't be transferred into English you know what I'm saying if I made any mistake somebody correct me on that you know but I, if I'm wrong I'm down I'm down I'm off by that much you know uh, shit I don't even have to stay stuck in Timbuktu I mean uh, I'm sorry I don't have to stay stuck in ancient Nubia ancient Kemet which is today Egypt and the Sudan. I don't have to stay stuck stuck in ancient um, Africa. I go to medieval Africa, which is um, the um, um, the middle century. You know what I'm saying? And uh,